first start for Argentina. Big ask for him. Well, Maradona's hoping that, um, you know, regardless of who's in goal, that the, the, the goalkeeper is going to be redundant all night. That's what he's hoping. But in front of them, you know, it concerns me a little bit that, um, you know, you've got Zanetti in the right back area and probably Gutierrez in the left back area with Heinze and Angolieri as the, the centre halves. That's quite experimental. As you mentioned, you know, the young lad Angolieri has, has played once. Heinze, what is his best position? Is it left back or is it centre half? Uh, so that's experimental. The two boys in front, Mascherano and Gargo, we know are very, very good players who have to do a very good protective job in front of the back four. We thought this was the start of a new era. We didn't know it was the start of the era for perhaps 20 years' time. Look at the children coming out there. Very quickly, this uh, formation, is it one that you can take into a World Cup finals tournament? Well, that depends on uh, how the front three actually you know, balance off tonight. You know, they've got no physical presence there in Melito, for example. He's on the bench. Um, Iguain is another player that, um, you know, full of potential. He's another one for the future. But, um, you know, I think that uh, Tevez is, is back in the team tonight and uh, he'll relish playing with Aguero and Messi. Um, Argentina at home, you would never back against them. I would expect them to win tonight and win comfortably. OK, coming up later, of course, so we'll bring you action from Uruguay against Paraguay, the table toppers. Right now, let's cross to our commentary team, Terry Gibson and John Driscoll. Well, life is more interesting when Diego Maradona's around and El Monumental is sold out for his first home game as Argentina's coach. It's a remarkable second coming. He had a heart attack in 2004. He was thought to be at death's door again in 2007, written off as a, a drug addict and a has-been, but here he is, another chapter in the remarkable story of Diego Maradona, leading a side in a World Cup qualifier, hopefully to the World Cup, and he has really sent out such an attacking side. He was perhaps the most exciting and thrilling player that you could hope to see. Anthem's time now, the Venezuelan anthem first. Well, it wasn't exactly respected, although the Venezuela supporters sang their hearts out, as did the players. It'd be a different story for the home anthem, the, Ar the anthem of Argentina.
What a sight, what a place for Venezuela to come. They'll be the party poopers if they do anything to stop Maradona's side recording a victory and getting their World Cup qualifying campaign back on the sort of track that they would expect it to be. You see young Ben Aguero there with his dad in his arms. There's a feeling that, of course, he could put him in the starting 11 and they should still be able to overcome Venezuela. Wherever Maradona goes, controversy follows, of course, and his public comments about Juan Roman Raquel May have prompted a predictably childish response from the very talented playmaker. He's refusing to play for the national team while Maradona is the coach. And he's left out some quality players, of course, Esteban Cambiasso, Colaccini and Zabaleta from the Premier League, Leo Franco, a goalkeeper, Higuain, as Trevor Francis mentioned, Julio Cruz. They've got others suspended as well in De Michaelis. They've got Gabi Melito injured. He's already made some big calls, Maradona. And he's trying to cast the team in the, the mould of him as a player, which was unbelievably talented, exciting and attacking. But hard to predict and very, very hard to read. It must be said, his coaching record is... Well, Paul, frankly, two wins in his two games with the Argentina national team. There's a vast improvement on what is achieved in club football and not for over a decade as well. As the uh, Argentina side, he goes with three up front in Aguero, Messi and Tevez. Only three defenders, one of those, Marcos Angeleri, wins only his second cap tonight. Javier Zanetti is usually a fullback or a midfielder, so it's Maxi Rodriguez and Newcastle's Jonas Gutierrez in the wide positions. It's a very, very bold lineup indeed. And against Venezuela, you can see that. Maradona joins in the bouncing. Venezuela cast as lambs to the slaughter. Cesar Farias, their coach, says they'll be more dogged and defensive and better organised than usual. They've called up 10 of their under 20 squad that's just qualified for the World Cup competition later this year. And Jose Manuel Velasquez there, you see, lining up in the defence. He's only 18. Very defensive-looking lineup. The goal threat, they hope, at least, will come from Mallorca's Juan Arango and Venezuela's record goal scorer, Giancarlo Maldonado. And so Argentina are ready to kick off with Diego Maradona as coach. Should be a relatively gentle start against Venezuela. But Maradona made a little half-hearted attempt to play down expectations ahead of this game. It failed. Expectations are huge. But what on earth do we expect of Diego Maradona? And I think it's come as no surprise that there's plenty of attacking players in the team. And we're talking about a, th a front three. I'll make it a front five with Maxim Gutierrez on the flanks, Messi, Tevez and Aguero. I think it's all out attack. Just the... The three defenders, two holding midfield players. It's certainly no surprise to me that he's made some controversial decisions. And we wouldn't want it any other way with we with Diego Maradona, but certainly he's going to be an inspiration for his players, for the home supporters. I would comfortably expect them to see off a, a spirited Venezuela team this evening. Well, he's had a crack at most things since stopping playing he's lost his Midas touch of course the only thing that's really worked out for him is a, a chat show that he hosts in Argentina and he's had his down times as well although he does stride the the world as a, a left-wing statesman at times and he's, he's friends with Venezuela's president of all people he's certainly been around and he knows everybody Diego Maradona does he have what it takes to coach a team at the top level it's a comfortable enough start, though, against Venezuela. Not usually a fan of head-to-heads, but they've played 15 times, these two nations. Argentina have won 15, with a goal difference of 62 to 8. I think it's quite a comfortable opening game for him, but uh, Venezuela also will be fired up with the occasion. It's a massive occasion throughout South America, the fact that Maradona's back in the game and at such a high level. Maxi Rodriguez breaking forward and is fouled on the edge of the penalty area. 90 seconds played in the game. Already have a decision their way. Jorge Rojas 
The American base player for Venezuela giving the free kick away. Got Peruvian officials in charge tonight, they've taken it quickly. Just headed back into the danger area by Mascarano. Clearance came from Jorge Rojas. As long as Argentina dominate possession, then this formation should really work in their favour. Jonas Gutierrez with the, the layoff. And Maxi again, this time tries to link up with Sergio Aguero. Interesting to see how the those hugely talented front players actually manage to, to link up, given away by Maldonado there for Venezuela. And a great roar. Argentina's number 10, that was a, a big issue in the week as to who would wear that one, it's Messi wearing the shirt and now Maxi to Messi again, scurries forward, it's taken a deflection to Sergio Aguero the flag was raised as he drills it wide anyway Just sense the anticipation with Lionel Messi is in possession of the ball had a huge part in that attack then she finds its way to him in the central attacking area he tries the long-range effort, gets a deflection here. And Aguero, just a shade offside there, and managed to miss the opportunity as well. Just sliced across the ball, and grateful for the assistant referee's flag, I think. Well, Vasile, the old coach, really had to go after the defeat against Chile in the last round of qualifiers. They only scored eight goals in their last ten games and only 13 in ten qualifiers. And that was after starting very well. When the first three games, they haven't really put in a good performance since then until Maradona took over. And they're too talented a team for that to be the case. Gutierrez drifts past a first challenge. It goes in towards Sergio Guerrero. Almost put on a plate there for Tevez. Would seem to be, and Hilaria is the, the one holding defender. He's on the ball now, just winning his second cap. And the first was only a, a brief sub appearance against France. We've already seen John Argentina break through the rear guard of the Venezuela defence. It's going to be a difficult night, particularly for the 18 year old number four, Velasquez. Mascarano. This is out, Maxi, and goes to Tevez. Maxi, Atletico Madrid player, takes the, the throw. Certainly an attacking player, isn't he? No question of those two wide players being regular wing backs. Given away there, as Ainte was invited to get forward. But See Maradona's thinking, and I'm sure he knows enough about the game to say that he, he wouldn't go into a game against Spain or Brazil or Italy or Germany with this kind of formation. An interesting fact for me, John, is that the three central defenders, I think Cesar Farias has done his homework, it was quite expected that Maradona would play this system of three defenders. He's just playing with one attacker, so... Maradona's first issue might be that the three defenders are just picking up the one striker. We've already seen Heinze and, and Zanetti pulling out into wide positions, almost playing as fullbacks, which can be dangerous if Angeleri is left one on one against Maldonado. Well, Venezuela have improved, they've got one or two good players in their team, Juan Arango, who uh, Maxi Rodriguez will know all about from La Liga, the two number 18s, and it's poor play really by Maxi, risking the, the wrath of the referee, doesn't get a yellow card though. Argentina have really underachieved since the Maradona era, coached by Delado, who's his number two or his technical manager in those days, haven't been beyond the quarterfinals of the World Cup since 1990 when they reached the final and were beaten by Germany.
I can claim Terry to be a bit too young to remember Pele, and so Maradona is, is the best player I can remember seeing play football, and the performance in the 86 World Cup, where he dragged a decent team through to, to being world champions, was, was just amazing. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was almost single-handed. I mean, it was a, you're right, John, it was a decent team full of good players, but the goals and the, the performance he, he put in in that tournament literally dragged the team all the way through to the final, eventually winning it. Goal against England just uh, comes to mind. Messi with the ball through and Sergio Aguero to try and play it back. Mass defending though by Venezuela. Very quickly got those burgundy shirts in behind the ball. They're aware of the threat. It's going to be a rear guard action for the South American minnows. Javier Zanetti stripped of the captaincy but still in the team. Over 130 caps. Been some player over the years. Played against England in '98. Scored against England in '98. In fact, exactly. I saw he made his debut in 1994, which seems an age ago. And for him, there hasn't been a lot of success at national level. It's a, a, certainly an abundance of talent that Maradona has got at his disposal. We spoke earlier, John, about some of the players not in the squad, not being selected. really should be doing better than what they have been doing in, in this qualification tournament. Maradona, to be, to be fair, two good results in the, the friendly matches preceding this match tonight. It's a comfortable start, followed by Bolivia next Wednesday again. Not the great, the most difficult of games, but uh, he's going to have to learn and learn fast. They need to qualify and they need some points on the board. It's not guaranteed that they're going to qualify, which is obviously the reason why they, they sacked Basile and made the, the switch. Good movements again, this is Maxi Rodriguez with time, with space, can he pick out a blue and white shirt? No is the answer and then the shot comes in in the end, and the skipper Mascarano, well over. I think you can sense the enthusiasm from the home supporters that that shot from Mascherano eventually gets a round of applause and it was a wasted effort, we see Maxi finding space on the right, tried to pick out an attacker in the middle of the pitch. Mascherano didn't really set himself up for that, get his balance right on that shot, shooting from distance, and a wasted opportunity there. I think Venezuela will be looking to try and keep it tight, keep the, the clean sheet for as long as possible. Let's try and get some belief into the team, they can get something from this game. It's important they haven't conceded early. They're really going to have to work cut out, particularly Rene Vega in the Venezuela goal tonight. Hasn't been tested yet, and they certainly haven't been overwhelmed in the first 10 minutes, and they have a free kick, wasted. It was Gago with the, the clearance. Good strong play by Sergio Guerrero, and then Gutierrez, we know, has pace. Attacking the Venezuela defence. Important interception, the leg just stuck out there. And then there's the, the job that Mascarano is asked to do, he and Gago providing the cover in front of the... Very flimsy back line. It was good link-up play there from Aguero and Gutierrez. They are going to get plenty of bodies forward. The important job that Mascherano and Gakko have got. Keeping their discipline in centre midfield. There's yet no clear-cut chances. There was the, the chance where Aguero was caught in an offside position. Long-range efforts. Last-ditch tackles from the Venezuela defenders. They're doing OK at the moment. Well, these South American qualifiers have been a tale of underachievement, mixed up with occasional brilliance from Argentina and Brazil. But neither has looked like a World Cup winning side so far. It could change, still a long way to go. They still got some work to do to qualify in a way. They're lucky that the likes of Chile and Uruguay have dropped silly points along the way, otherwise the group table could be looking even worse than it does. Carlos Tevez has been sent off in two games. Significant moments that have undermined his team. Eight save forward towards Mascherano. Messi again. Pulling away, dropping deep. On 
to the right. It was a real cause of interest to see what role Messi would get, whether he'll have the, the, spray, the space in, in which to express himself being in the same team as Tevez and Aguero. Yeah, as I say, it's going to be fascinating to see how the three of those work it out, particularly with the wide players of Maxi and Gutierrez. This is Messi. Danger always for the defence when Messi comes infield. So difficult to knock off the ball, such quick feet and strength and a chip over the top that is too far in front of Sergio Aguero. It's just the sheer amount of bodies back there in the Venezuela defence. They look well organised, they, they know what to expect. That's Messi's favourite position there. And he receives the ball on the right flank, cuts inside. Just the defender, the fullback, one one one-on-one. Defender, obviously aware that Messi likes to come inside, and there's there's plenty of defenders around there to give cover, to help out. And I think it's just a little bit laboured from Argentina at the moment. The pace is quite slow. I expected them to really get at the Venezuela defence, really boosted by the home crowd with a, with a new coach of Diego Maradona, but it hasn't happened so far. I think it's been too comfortable for Venezuela. Well, their last qualifying game was against Chile. They lost it by a goal to nil. It could have been more. They were poor. Didn't create attacking chances, didn't create goal-scoring moments at all. Jonas Gutierrez has been called in by Maradona for his pace, just to open up a, an opponent. Strong running in wide areas. Ainsa comes forward from the back. What about a set piece then for Argentina? Is that the way to unlock Venezuela? And it goes towards Ainsa. Came off the defender. Been uninspiring so far from Diego Maradona's team. Venezuela have defended in numbers but effectively and then an offside decision stops Tevez Again a question of well organised defensive unit there he says that Far Farias will be really happy with the, the first 15 minutes of the game I just expected the pace of the game to be quicker the tempo to be quicker from the Argentina players as way the players would have feared that opening 15 20 minute period this is Sergio Aguero Cargo was available misses him out and goes to Mascherano now Messi yet to see the best of Messi even though he's played in every one of these World Cup qualifiers Gargo Difficult passes, played in quite tight areas from Argentina, and they haven't been coming off. Maradona will be slightly frustrated. We've got to give credit to the Venezuela defenders. They've defended sensibly, they haven't gone to ground, they've got bodies back behind the ball. Obviously, just playing Maldonado alone up front. Everybody back helping out the defence. They look well organised. So Argentina just need to, to quicken their passing. Get the ball forward slightly quicker as well. Obviously, Venezuela quite prepared for Argentina to have easy possession in the deep in their own half. But again, we can see clearly here John Amity defenders are back behind the ball. It's been one way traffic so far, and it's reached a dead end every time. Again, as a ball is played into the penalty area, just so many Venezuela defenders around to clear it. And then only a hard-working Maldonado forward to put any kind of pressure on, but he did well, actually. Won a throw out of Hainsey. He did. We saw there the, the three defenders marking one striker. You know, it's an attacking lineup that Maradona has sent out. I'm not sure whether he's been naive in playing three central defenders. I think a back four with the two attacking fullbacks and just two central defenders marking Maldonado. But at the moment, he's got three players marking one striker. He first got to make a catch there. Carito, which he did. Lazio goalkeeper, but he's not the number one at Lazio. 
And the two other keepers in the squad are, will be debutants if they came on. They're experienced goalkeepers he hasn't called on in Leo Franco and Pato Abondanzieri. Well, Gutierrez has got pace, but not that much. Maradona would really have been looking for his team to have a better start than this and really get at the Venezuela defence. Put early pressure on the goal, on the goalkeeper Vega. Comfortably defended, Marcos Angeleri of Estudiantes. of Real Madrid. They're away to Bolivia on Wednesday night, so I presume that there will be changes to the Argentina team. Aguero to Maxi Rodriguez and back again to Aguero. There was a promising looking ball in. But once again, just not enough blue and white shirts outnumbered in the penalty area. Here's Messi. Slices his ball a little bit to Tevez. There are a few whistles around El Monumental. A crowd not afraid to show its anger towards its own players. And obviously, there's the Maradona effect at play tonight. I tell you what, if this had been a Basile side that had started like this, you'd be hearing about it. Very much so, we've seen some straight passes. A little bit sloppy to start with. Gutierrez, I think, has been the most promising attacker. He can get service out down the left flank. <laughs> Given away again. And Arango forward to Maldonado, and despite the three defenders around him, he got there first, but Zanetti was there in support of Angeleri just to sweep it up. I'm sure Venezuela are going to look to play counter-attack football at some stage, but I think they're quite happy at the moment not to commit too many players in attack. Keep the game nice and compact. Well, they've dealt with Messi so far. Always have to say so far when you mention Messi. He has the ability to undo the, the very best of defences. Clearance by young Velasquez. A number of youngsters on the bench as well for Venezuela, four from the under-20s. Same coach is in charge of that team. It's a big deal for them to qualify for the World Under-20s in Egypt. There's an outside chance they could still make it through to the World Cup, but that's not really in their thinking. Round of applause there from Roberto Rosales. It's a promising attack there from Venezuela. Good possession in midfield. Switch pass from Royal has to Rosales just didn't come off in, in their favour. But they'll take the lead, a little bit more confidence. And in 20 minutes of the game, they're having cut open by the Argentine attack. They're having to be patient here, Argentina. Against a side to use Jose Mourinho's phrase, who've parked the bus in front of the goal. What do you expect, though, when you're Argentina playing Venezuela? Does Maradona have the tactical nows to unpick it? Will one of his players take responsibility? Gargo forward. Now Messi. Can't simply rely on Messi to run through the entire opposition. Mascarano. They don't have a classic number nine, Argentina. They don't have a, a target man. Figueroa, who's, who's playing that role. And 
And it's Tevez with the cross into the penalty area. And then there's a challenge there, but he's very quickly back up on his feet. Lionel Messi, and he's just claiming the corner. It's better from Argentina's quick burst of injection of pace into the attack there from Tevez. Revert for Mascherano, winning the ball back. And Tevez with that change of pace. The attack needs that now, it's become quite predictable. Messi with a better touch there, but in his fairness, he wasn't claiming the penalty. His touch could have been better, he's aware of that. Trying to claim his side of the corner, but just that change of pace the Argentina attack needs to up the tempo slightly. He's got 11 international goals, Lionel Messi, the biggest haul of any of the players out there for Argent Argentina. Maldonado and Arango both got more for Venezuela. More experienced players, of course. Well, they've been around longer. Messi's got plenty of experience for such a young man. Messi forward again, Aguero with the layoff. And the goalkeeper comes to claim, René Vega called upon to do something really and then he makes a terrible mistake and bowls it straight out to Mascherano important clearance not sure what René Vega was thinking of there he's had a good save and pretty much ball straight back to Argentina they don't need quick ball out from the back today Venezuela that's sure that's not part of the plan Got the crowd at least back in their voices. Certainly a fair old shift that Maldonado is going to have to put in tonight, isn't it? Playing along up front there alongside three defenders. Cargo. Again into Aguero. And Maxi keeps it moving to Messi. This time he picks up the ball in a more advanced area. Leo Messi and he whips it across. And Carlos Tevez stuck out ahead, but he just couldn't get enough on it to direct it towards the goal. Messi just faced with Fuen Mayor. Fennes the left back there. Just teased him. It's a scary thought for any fullback, isn't it? Messi and decided to, to go down the outside there, tried to get to the byline. It's a decent cross into the box as well. The Argentinian strikers just couldn't get clean header in and goal. Promising again from Lionel Messi. Rincon with a, a touch in an advanced position for once, the, the Hamburg midfield player. And here comes Venezuela again, and well, waited a long time for them to pick up the ball, but now there's a, a terrible gamble being taken at the back there. We'll try to make it more interesting here, Argentina. It's in fact a really good run. And here's Tevez to Messi. Back again to the Manchester United man, a great football, Argentina, oh, wonderful. Lionel Messi scores the first goal under Maradona in a competitive game, and it was worthy of the great man himself. What a team move it was, and a cool finish from Maradona's air, Lionel Messi. Certainly right there, John, it was the, the, the best attack of the game by a long way by Argentina. Started from the back, a lack of communication by Carrizo, and I think it's Anetti who made the forward run. Played his way out of trouble. Eventually finds Lionel Messi, the Venezuela defenders looking across the assistant referee. Zanetti there who played himself out of trouble. Great forward run. Found himself right into the attacking half of the pitch. And it's just a quick free-flowing attack from Argentina. Ball finds its way to Messi. One, two there inside. Beats the offside trap. And an expert finishes. Great return pass from Tevez. There's no mistake in the first touch from Messi. And the control finish, just passing into the bottom corner. And the opening goal for Argentina. 
came straight after the first half spell of pressure that Venezuela had had, the first time that they'd really committed bodies forward. As you say, it, it was Zanetti who, when he picked up the ball on the edge of the penalty area, I thought he'd almost played himself into deep trouble and he got away with it. He actually tackled his goalkeeper, then tackled Etzplan 1-2, I think it was Hainsey, to get out of trouble. Really a set the, the attack in motion. Here's a second chance, just moments after they've taken the lead, it was a defender who headed that ball behind. When Venezuela play Brazil, they conceded three really quick goals and were out of the game in no time. What's their fate against Argentina to be? Another corner they'll face here. You've always got a chance, haven't you, with the individual talent of the, the attacking players. And it's a great little movement there between Messi and Tevez. Messi's corner played in at pace. It wasn't a bad ball, was it? No one got on the end of it. Certainly played into the danger area, and we, just, we see the, the, the right back here. I think he just plays them on side. See Messi with a little give and go, makes his run from deep. We saw when my other left back there holding his arm up, picking him for offside. Messi found loads of space. The timing of the pass from Tevez was perfect. Injection of pace into the attack, the quick passing movement. It's all well and good having plenty of possession in midfield and around this area of the pitch. You really need to up the tempo and the, the, around the, the final third. Quick passing, individual talent that can beat players and take players on. That's just what Argentina were lacking in the opening 25 minutes. Cesar Gonzalez was fouled. Javier Mascarano being pulled away. Venezuela taking the free kick very quickly, not from the right place. Referee says play on. And they just got the final pass wrong, otherwise it could have been trouble there for Argentina. Bit more care with that final pass into Maldonado. And the, again, the Argentina players looking for the offside flag. Quite rightly, the assistant referee keeps his flag down. A bit more care in the pass there, really would have been a, could have been a problem for Carrizo in the Argentina goal. And a lack of concentration there from the three defenders of Zanetti, Angeleri and Heinze. Panarango with a little bit of a limp. I'm sure, he'll be okay. 81 caps now for the Real Mallorca player. Rediscovered a bit of form in La Liga, as have Mallorca. So it's a former teammate of Honas Gutierrez now with Newcastle. In his days when he was just playing Honas. Jorge Rojas. A rare attacking move again from Venezuela. The last one led to a goal from Argentina. It's Chacon with a little scoop ball over the top. And that's a wild effort from Juan Arango. Sometimes feels he can do everything for Venezuela. But he's no Maradona. Decent player though he is. Spell of possession there from Venezuela, wasted by Arango. He's a better player than that. Rojas. The balls at Venezuela are are trying, are just a little over ambitious really, Cesar Gonzalez couldn't get on the end of it. Big weekend of World Cup qualifiers around the world and tomorrow night we've got Ecuador versus Brazil, 10pm Sky Sports 2, the other big boys of South American football struggling in this qualification campaign.
Difficult game against Ecuador at altitude as Argentina will face against Bolivia in midweek. Big arguments, of course, about games being allowed to be played high up in the mountains. Always oh, seems harsh on the, the mountainous countries. It's got a few advantages when it comes to taking on Argentina and Brazil. They were trying to strip them of the advantages they did have. Here's Leo Messi. Opened up a little bit for him, but see how quickly they're all around him. Safety first, just put it behind, then dip, deal with the corner later. It was Tevez who was trying to get in behind. Sichero who knocked it out of play. Reni Vegas should be favourite for that one. He just decided to palm it away, and Velasquez, the 18 year old, made the clearance. But lucky there, Maldonado. He's given possession away again. And that's dangerous against Argentina. Brilliant work by Tevez. And it was pulled back for Gargo. Decided to just fire it into the penalty area. Mascarano. Tevez is really coming to the game now and the big impact. His enthusiasm always stands out. But of course, a very talented player, but I do admire his enthusiasm to lead from the front. He chases lost causes, loves to take defenders on. Made a huge part in that opening goal for Lionel Messi. Gutierrez challenge didn't hit the mark. Maldonado then has it for Venezuela. Trying to curl it in. They've rushed it when they've had their moments, Venezuela, really, haven't they? Yeah, I think it's looked promising for them when they've when they had the, the rare attack. Maldonado then just a rush of blood to the head and shot from distance. Rincon was joining an attack. Can we see Tevez? Attacking, getting to the byline, pulling the ball back from Gargo. Trying to just drive the ball back into the box. The last few minutes, Juan Mayo is really getting tried out as a, a left back. Messi's attacked him. Tevez has got him down the right flank as well. Well, a yellow card has been brandished there. Have to figure out who it was. Sergio Aguero on the receiving end. It's Gabriel Sichero who we can see there speaking to the referee. And it was his challenge. Messi. Familiar drop of the shoulder and run inside, and he's bundled over on the edge of the penalty area. The referee might have been following the ball. Maybe he thought that Messi played for it and went to ground too easily. Messi in the first 10-15 minutes was dribbling the ball inside and, and, and laying the ball square and not making that second run. And I think he's come to realise he's getting outnumbered around the edge of the box. They're getting good cover onto the left back, Fuenmayor. So he's just playing those little give and goes to players in midfield. I thought he was unlucky there not to get the free kick on the edge of the box. Powerful run forward. Okay, Rojas. Still no proper save for Carrizo to make the Argentina goalkeeper. Again, there's plenty of space for him to run into though. And we see him getting to the defensive unit of Argentina. Using his favoured left foot from distance able to generate any real power from it. It's a problem for the Venezuelan midfielders, they're working so hard tracking back that it's going to be hard for them fitness-wise to get up and join in support of Maldonado. So they have energy left to, to really cause the Argentina defenders problems. 
And here's Messi looking to cause problems at the other end. Again, a good challenge. Quickly made by Fuenmayor. And it was cleared away by Chiquero. Rink on to Maldonado. One back by Mascherano, then finds Gutierrez. Again, though, they slow the pace down themselves there, Argentina. Yeah, I think that, to be fair, I think the, the, the first goal was really not the stuffing out of Venezuela. They look a bit ragged now. They're trying to commit more plays and attack, but when they lose the ball, they're not as organised. Chances have been there for Argentina to really attack at pace, but they're quite content to slow the game down, keep possession. No real sense of urgency about taking this free kick, is there? Ainte eventually makes it up from the back. Tevez looking to deliver the ball again. Held up by the 18-year-old defender, Velasquez. It's good defending by Venezuela. Frustration for Gutierrez. I think Sachero, Velasquez in centre of defence for Venezuela. Done a really good job so far this evening. When my heart left back has had his work cut out. Check on up right back is finding it really difficult, but the two central defenders have really stood up to the test. Whilst Kun Aguero has been hasn't had much of an impact in the game, you can see the, the growing influence of Tevez. Messi, remember they delivered a ball out wide to him on the right hand side. Such an exciting play, you never know what's going to happen. You're always aware that it's, it's a Venezuela player, the danger that he can cause. Rink on for Venezuela. They beat Brazil in a friendly about a year ago. That was probably the highlight of their football achievements. Another late challenge, Rojas is showing a yellow card. Good look there at uh, Carlos Bilardo. Former Argentino coach who's joined Maradona, sort of as a number two. Provide a bit of guidance and advice for the rookie manager. I think it's vital to the Argentina team to have someone like that involved. And great success as a coach. Great experience to pass on to, obviously, the rookie coach, Diego Maradona. We must have a good relationship and work with each other for a long period before with the national team. And I think Bilardo was actually coach of Sevilla when Maradona played there for a year as well, back in the league in the 90s. Glad to that Maradona can have somebody he trusts, somebody he can rely on to just the pass and the experience. The story goes that it wasn't his first choice. He wanted the old defender Oscar Ruggeri and ended up in a massive row with the Federation over that. It's a surprise, of course, Maradona in a big row with authority. <laughs> as Rojas involved there. It's a hefty challenge there. Who in my was the, the man down and he is struggling a little bit. It has been a bright, fantastic first 45 minutes from the Argentina team. I really did expect more from them. Also, the great individual talent that will open up defences at times. It has been a fluent performance. It has been a slick, quick passing performance from the team. The up in half. I must say, I don't think Venezuela are one of the better teams in this qualification group. 
slightly disappointed with Argentina in the first 45 minutes. And interesting to see how Maradona approaches his, his first team talk and his first competitive match as manager of the national team, whether he's satisfied or... Well, they could make him happier. They've still got three minutes to half-time. Tevez has been lively. He's involved in the goal. Goes no further this time, though, but uh, Liverpool's Mascherano came in and won it back again. And Hilary with the ball over the top. Cleared away, though, again by Venezuela. Here's Messi. Again against Buen Mayor, who's held him up for now. Messi trying to get in behind again there, has almost ran off the boot of Sergio Aguero. If anyone's been disappointing in the Argentina side, it's probably Maradona's son in law to be. Yeah, it's been really quiet, I think, as I you know, said, the central defenders. Sichero and Velasquez, I think, have played really well. Messi to Aguero. Strong and it's hard to knock off the ball, Sergio Aguero, but the referee doesn't do him a favour there. Gives a free kick Venezuela's way. You can see quite clearly that they're just slinging attacking players onto the pitch and telling them to get on with it and play. It's not as easy as it looks. All great players, but it's going to take time for them to adjust. I think there's not been enough rotation in their movement as well. It's something that Maradona is going to have to work on. He obviously wants to, his preferred trio of Tevez, Aguero, and Messi to play together. It's finding a system that suits them. Lovely ball through by Messi to Sergio Aguero. Oh, wonderful, wonderful defending. Sichero, I think, was the, the player getting back on the line. He gets the congratulations from Rennie Vega. It looked as though Sergio Aguero had got the finish perfect, but brilliant defending has denied him. There's two individual talented players here. Messi timed the run at uh, the pass to perfection. Aguero beats the offside trap. Outstanding defending from Sichero. Manages to clear off the line to the frustration of Maradona. It would have been a happier dressing room had that found the back of the net. Encouraging though for Argentina. And then the header down, wasn't too far away from Gutierrez. And then high boot raised by Sergio Aguero. Frustrating for him. He said it was a great little pass from Messi. Good understanding between the two strikers. I think Kun Aguero should be burying that into the back of the net now. Not allowing Sichero the opportunity to get back and, and clear off the line. Fantastic work from the central defender. He didn't really catch it, did he, once he'd hit it? Probably not even sure that he saw the defender had carried on the run. But once he'd gone past Vega, he should have just drove that into the back of the goal. is Messi playing just in front of Maxi Rodriguez. So Maxi has been a little restricted at times, hasn't he? He's a good attacking player in his own right. I think it's restricted Maxi to a certain extent. He hasn't been able to push on down that right-hand side. He's not playing in central midfield. Score of a fabulous goal at the World Cup, of course, Maxi Rodriguez. Here's Maldonado. Three defenders quickly around him. He holds the ball up well, though, to give it to Arango. Struck it powerfully enough. There's a proper save that Carito had to make. Carito had to be alert there, it was hit with good power by Rango. Good work again from Maldonado, occupying the three central defenders, players joining up in support, and Rango with a decent effort. Well, half-time in Diego Maradona's first competitive game as the coach of Argentina. It's not quite as easy as you might think this coaching business. They have scored one goal, though. Messi gave them the lead. One flash of brilliance, one lovely move, and that separates the teams at half-time. Argentina lead by a goal to nil. Diego Maradona. On off the hook so far, says Trevor Francis. Messi is back out. 
Uh, so are the Venezuela players. Let's rejoin our commentary team, shall we? Terry Gibson, John Driscoll. Welcome back to El Monumental. 65,000 have turned up to see Diego Maradona coach the Argentina national team at home for the first time in his first competitive game. The roll call of teams that these Argentina players represent at club level. Astonishing, really. The vast majority of them played in the UEFA Champions League. The Inter, Real Madrid, a couple of players, Liverpool, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Manchester United. Only one of them plays domestically in Argentina. And that's the young defender Marcos Angeleri. One of the Venezuelan players as well, Cesar Gonzalez, the midfield player, also plays in Argentina. So despite appointing a coach who lives in Argentina, hasn't really had his finger on the European scene in recent times, although he has been busy since he's been appointed, seen plenty of him in Spain. It is really the big names and the, the European-based stars. He's left a few out, of course. Let's check on with the cross into the, the penalty area. The right back in a very advanced position, way over the head, though, of Giancarlo Maldonado. An attacking mindset there from Venezuela in the opening minute of the second half. Sure, they really expected an onslaught in the first 10 15 minutes of the, of the game, it didn't materialize. Grim statue, grim belief. I'm not sure they've got the quality to really test the Argentina defense on too many occasions. Argentina, on the other hand, just need to, to pass the ball quicker, they need better, more better, and more movement off the ball in attacking areas of the pitch. And the one time we saw that was Messi and Tevez linking up for the goal. We need to play more two-touch, quicker football in the attacking half. Of course, get the ball to Messi as much as possible. Fernando Gago, one of the holding midfield players. Now they have got the ball to Messi. A look at the defenders around him, trying to knock him off the ball, and he plays it across! And Carlos Tevez has drilled that one into the back of the net, and the second half has started just as Maradona would have wanted. So much better from Argentina, and a fine goal has been scored to make it two. Well, that's better from Argentina. That the Venezuela defenders just can't live with Lionel Messi. He drove to the byline on that occasion. Fight the cross across, right footed. As I said just moments before, give the ball to this man as much as possible. He fades the first tackle, drives to the byline. Great determination. Gets good pace on the cross. Rennie Vega makes a hash of the cross. And Tevez there with a controlled side foot volley into the open goal. Again, just keep giving the ball to Lionel Messi and he delivers. The keeper was certainly fully committed, wasn't he? And he didn't make any significant contact with the ball. It meant that when Tevez guided it back, Goldwoods was into an empty net. And that has taken so much pressure off Diego Maradona. Surely Argentina players had a little bit of apprehension approaching this game tonight. So much expected of them because of the, the new coach and who he is. I hope now to see some sparkling football from the Argentina attackers. The pressure's off. Convincing two-goal lead. Jorge Rojas with the ball into the Argentina penalty area. It's a good header away and Haleri. And Gago, but he's giving it away, Gago. And Rincon goes down trying to win a free kick. The throw for Argentina. Looks like they will be maintaining their perfect record against Venezuela. It's their 16th meeting, they've won the 15 that they've played so far. There's a real chance taken there by Carrizo. They've had a couple of sloppy moments, Argentina. Messi evading the tackle of Wenmayor. 
drives past Rojas, gets the ball to the byline. Oh, it's a deadly cross, right across the six-yard box. Rene Vega tries in vain to clear it, just gets a touch, deflects it into Tevez. And a composed, controlled volley from the Argentina striker. Really puts Argentina in the, in the driving seat now. Tony Tevez, eighth international goal, which is a little surprising. And appearance 47. Free kick for the foul on Gago. Change being made by Venezuela. And it's Gabriel Chichero who is going off. Not look at the positional change, but well, it certainly is, isn't it? Alejandro Moreno coming on, who's a midfield player. Now the Olays are starting then from Argentina. So much happier now, Gago then punts that forward. Qualified very comfortably from the last set of qualifiers, Argentina. Not so this time, Maldonado. Good save by Carrizo, had to make it as well. It's great from Maldonado. To be fair to him tonight, he's worked so hard and he's caused problems for the, the three Argentina defenders. Another good break forward here, though. And then the shot is deflected and deflected into the back of the net. And the goal scorer is Maxi Rodriguez. And things are going Argentina's way now. That's better again, it's an attack with pace. All stems from the shot from Maldonado. Good save by Carrizo. Quick counter attack. And Venezuela just can't deal with the pace of the Argentina attackers. And see Maxi Rodriguez here slides the ball down the channel to Kun Aguero. Good accurate chip into the box around the penalty spot. He looks up, sees Maxi making the run. Maxi with the outside of the right foot, the volley. Fortunately for Rene Vega, the deflection just takes it past the goalkeeper and there's very little he can do. Maxi Rodriguez credited with the goal, took a deflection off Chacon on the way in, but we know taking that off the Atletico Madrid midfield player. His ninth international goal. Things are looking up for Argentina. Here they come again. Messi to Aguero. Cleared away by Velasquez. It's quite clear, John, that Diego Maradona must have told the players at half time to attack them with more pace. Tevez in the first half it was probably the only one that was had that change of pace, was driving at the defenders. Obviously, Messi. And he received the ball out wide on the right flank, but he's definitely increased the tempo of the attacking play in the second half, and it's paying dividends. That's a lovely layoff again for Gutierrez. Now he's got plenty of pace, he hasn't really had the room in which to run at defenders so far. He gets nothing out of that one. Goal kick for Venezuela. Certainly should have been a corner, I think, that certainly come off a check on the... He's just going to praise his defending there, he didn't dive in, he stood up. Made it hard for Gutierrez. A bit fortunate there, I think, for Venezuela to avoid the corner. Argentina players certainly look like they're enjoying their football more now. Over the top towards this 
Left-sided attacking player, if you like, Juan Arango. Now Rincon. Away by Angeleri. Extra body in midfield now that Moreno is on, see what kind of impact he can make. Well, the cross was cleared away, but at least Venezuela have attacking intent. Running straight into trouble though, there says Al Gonzalez, the, the hurricane midfield player. And this very, well, I think, strange system in the Argentina League where they play two championships every year, every season. An opening and a closing, as they call them, and they just have two champions a year. Relegation is divided, it's worked out over three seasons. <laughs> it's bizarre, yeah, you, you, you go down, but they, they have a, a, a rolling league table for, for relegation, a separate table from the one for the, the championship. For example, River Plate, who play in this stadium, they finish bottom of the the opening championship but they won't go down because they've done well in previous seasons and they're doing well in the the, the, the closing the closure very very confusing system I was gonna say you've made it sound so much clearer now I understand <laughs> it <for the> <laughs> I'll write it down for you a Boca Juniors are the uh, the reigning champions they produce so many players Amazing amount of talent has come through that particular club. Amazing amount of talent has come through Argentina. They haven't really translated it into consistently winning teams since Maradona's day, even though they were ranked number one in the world not too long ago. Smile on the face of the coach. Jorge Rojas. Just one that John whether the players were apprehensive because of the fact that Maradona is obviously an idol to each and every one of those players, and they probably wanted to do so well. And were worried about this being a disappointment to him. And he has a great relationship with the players. They think the world of him. They idolise him. Whistles for the shot. Who am I? The earlier effort that uh, forced the, the save, at least, from Carrizo. Unfortunately, a reflection of a check on. Uh, when Maxi laid the ball down to Aguero. Didn't give up the attack there, made the forward run into the penalty box. Great vision from Aguero to spot Maxi making that run. It's an unorthodox finish, you probably should have been a left foot volley. Well, it obviously clearly favours his right foot, improvised, used the outside of the right foot, much to the delights of Diego Maradona. It's a searching ball and it's a good ball. It was struck early by Arango, blocked by Zanetti. The former captain, one of the first acts. To get high feet here. One of the first acts of Maradona was to remove the captaincy from Zanetti, which seems a little surprising. He missed out on the 2006 World Cup. Zanetti left out by Jose Peckerman. All those caps, and he should have won a lot more had he not fallen out of favour briefly. Chipped into the Argentina penalty area. Good header away. And then pressure on Remy Vega. Cooley found Chacon.
referee was almost in the way then. He gets the, the chance to, to give the free kick. Cesar Gonzalez, who was brought down. Rojas then goes wide to Chacon. Manages to get a throw out of that situation. Gutierrez defending for Argentina, the Newcastle man. Colaccini, his club mate, not included in the squad by Maradona. Plenty of home base players in the squad, but as I say, only Angeleri has made it into the team. See Venezuela having been allowed to have more possession in the ball now with Argentina. Three goals to the good. It's a shame, really, because they really came out for the second half, Venezuela. Definitely with a more attacking mindset. And punished within two or three minutes for the first goal from Tevez. And the game's clearly out of their reach. The third, third goal from Maxi. Corner then for Venezuela. Could do with something to cheer them up. Whipped in well. Argentina head got it away. Is it Gabi Ainsay in there? Took a knock on the arm, it would seem as well, the Real Madrid man. Juan Arango twisting and turning in the penalty area. When called upon, Argentina have been up to the defensive task. Free kick goes against Sichero. Maradona was quoted before the game as saying he wanted his team to, to really play well, get the crowd behind them, receive generous applause, if not standing ovations as they left the pitch this evening. It hasn't been like that for a long time under Basile. I don't think they're quite there just yet. I think there's some more work for them to be done. Another couple of goals. We can hear the crowd enjoying the evening now. Another couple of goals. Just might see his wish granted. It really would be a great start to his, his competitive management games as the new national team coach of Argentina. First game was against Scotland, of course where he was greeted warmly for some reason and then uh, went to France and they beat France so well so far Rincon has been shown a yellow card Gutierrez trying to make progress down the left flank Rincon then just laid his hands on the chest of Been lively tonight, Carlos Tevez, scorer of one goal, involved in the build-up to the the first. It's Tevez at his best there, and receiving the ball around the 18-yard box, gets turns, runs at defenders. A real live wire of attacker. Messi then stabs it back to Gargo. He actually put his team in trouble by not taking that shot on. But a, a counter-attack away, and it's such a disappointing end. Just needed to find the feet, really, of Maldonado. Now, what will Argentina's approach to the final half-hour be? Will they try and close it down? Will they think it's a job done at 3-0, or go for the jugular and and rack up a spectacular scoreline. I don't think they're going to conserve any more energy by taking the, their foot off the pedal. I think Maradona might make one or two changes. Will be a taxing game against Bolivia at altitude on Wednesday night. That's definitely a factor, isn't it? Big cheer. They like that one. And then the, the ball forward again. More hard running here by Tevez and a ball into the penalty area. That is comfortably, in the end, claimed by Vega. Again, a good understanding, good link-up play by the attackers. Better movement clearly in the second half than there was in the, the first 45 minutes. 
It'll take a little period of play for them to get an understanding of working as the three strikers. The crowd don't like the fact that Venezuela are in possession, they're not now. There's Rincon. And he takes the long route back to the goalkeeper. He's one of the players that Maradona must consider. Resting with the game in mind on Wednesday. Well, they make such incredible journeys, these South American players, the, the European based ones. If you think it's 5,000 kilometers from Caracas to Buenos Aires, you consider how far someone like Arango must travel in a week, it's extraordinary. A shot there for Carrito to save, a, a Rome based goalkeeper. I often wonder. I don't know, so he says Al Gonzalez, who plays in Argentina, is he obliged to travel all the way up to Venezuela to fly back with his teammates to, to play in Argentina? Because they're, they're making crazy journeys if they're, if they're linking up with their national squad and then flying around South America, a huge continent. And these two countries such a long way apart. Just wonder whether there is a more creative way to arrange the games rather than having home and away in every every double header but that's the way they organize it because venezuela at home to colombia and that's on tuesday night so it's not a lot of time to rest and reorganize <laughs> and of course argentina playing at altitude in bolivia it looks like we are about to see a change and it's juan sebastian veron Based back at home in Argentina with the Estudiantes offside here against Venezuela. Talking about the great and good teams that these Argentina players play for, of course, Juan Sebastián Verón's personal roll call is pretty impressive. Good experience player. hasn't managed to shake off that knee injury yet, has it? It's been a good 20 years, I think, he's been carrying that <laughs> knee injury. <laughs> One of Pele's top 125 players of all time. Might want to reassess that list at some point, Pele. Here's Messi. Trying to slip it back through to Messi. Apologies there from Maxi. Not sure the intent was wrong. It's the, it's the clear pass again, it's Messi with a little give and go. Plays it into Maxi, carries on his run into the 18 yard box. Aguero on the far post. It makes sense for Maradona to make. To use his substitutions, use the squad. How will they use this corner? They've taken it short. Messi happy to slow it down to walking pace. Poor play really by Maxi. It leads to a Venezuela counter-attack. And that's unlucky, and it's a yellow card as well for the, the foul. It wasn't by Gargo, was it? It was good work from Gutierrez, good team ethic, good work. Really works back, he makes the challenge on Rojas, I think it's a fair challenge. Rojas is certainly theatrical with his dive afterwards. Sean Van Maradona pleased to see the attitude of Gutierrez, a bit sloppy from the corner. A bit sloppy here again and a chance for Venezuela. Once again it was Arango taking on a shot very early, offside here. Rueful luck from Carlos Tevez. Well, he's barely a six inches in the attacking half of the pitch. I think he's unlucky there, isn't it? Very, very unlucky. Veron's boots are taking some lacing up, aren't they? He's still there, still going. 
Confirmation of that yellow card for Gutierrez. Chaco. Put it back, he was off balance by the time it came back to him. Rojas goes back to Rennie Vega. Oh, Messi. A little drop of the shoulder. The whistle had already gone, though. Kind of thing is still appreciated now then, who's going off here? It is Carlos Tevez, isn't it? Who will get a standing ovation in Buenos Aires for an outstanding effort. A goal and a part played in the first one as well. And he's the first one to get a 20-minute breather from Carlos Tevez. It's been well earned. He's got undoubted ability, Carlos Tevez, but I, I love his enthusiasm. It's infectious, it spreads to the other players. And he certainly has a special relationship with his new coach. And on comes Veron. Been around the, the top clubs of Europe. Cost an awful lot of money, as Manchester United fans in particular will remember. the second half of his career he hasn't really fulfilled has he he was a he was a very good very highly rated player as a young man here's Messi Veron slowed it right down oh, not a popular choice is he There the whistles again, every time Juan Seba Verón's on the ball, the whistles come. They have to remember to cheer Messi, here's Aguero, offside against Sergio Aguero. I'm not sure of that, the reasons why the home crowd whistling at Verón. It's a classy midfield player, he very rarely gives the ball away. Certainly not going to play in the position that Carlos Tevez was playing. He'll just keep things ticking over nicely in midfield. He'll play two touch football. I'm sure, he's used his experience. Won't be afraid to go and get the ball. Control the midfield area. Even with the home crowd whistling. They don't stand on ceremony, do they? Quite happy to. Boo their own, or whistle their own player. Here's Gutierrez. And Aguero. Good play for Aguero! Not sure about the goalkeeping, but the run was superb. And the goal will stand for Argentina, and Sergio Aguero has got his reward. And Argentina have their fourth. Yeah, it's poor, poor goalkeeping from Benny Vega. It did get a slight deflection off of Velasquez. Gutierrez with too much time in the ball there, so finds Aguero in loads of space, skips past one tackle. Velasquez doesn't get close enough to stop Aguero having the shot. There's a slight deflection, but nothing that should cause the problems there that Rene Vega suffered. Poor goalkeeping. An incisive attack again from Argentina. And Aguero gets on the score sheet. Another scorer is on his way off, Maxi Rodriguez. I'm not sure that Barcelona will be too chuffed to see Messi still on the pitch at this stage of the evening. Of all the players that you would have wanted to have a little rest, you might have said it was on Barcelona's start. And Hel de Maria is the, the latest to come on, another a young midfield player called up by. Maradona. It's only second captain tonight. Plays for Benfica in Portugal. It was 
part of the under-20 squad that won the World Cup that uh, Aguero starred for. Di Maria here on the ball on the left, Gutierrez swapped to the right. Wins a free kick. Yes, he doesn't, does he? Gets no sympathy at all from the, the referee. I thought he'd gone for the free kick. Looking at a dispirited team now, Venezuela. They defended stoutly until the, the first goal went in, and even after that, really, but the second half, they haven't been able to, to stay with Argentina. Not that Argentina have been world beaters, but they've just got too much quality. Yes, particularly in attack, and you know, we see the, the list of goal scorers tonight. Evidence there of the type of players, the quality we're dealing with. You know, Messi, Carlos Tevez, Maxi Rodriguez and Aguero. Four fantastic strikers, attacking players. Venezuela players very rarely come up against quality such as that. And the whistles turn to booze as Veron gives the ball away. They were all laying every Argentina touch until it came to him. Yeah. Tempted back heel was a real waste of possession by Cesar Gonzalez. De Maria. Tracked that well to try and win the ball back, gave the free kick away. Diego Melito is ready to come on, the Genoa striker. Well, we're talking of demanding schedules in South American football. Brazil are in Ecuador tomorrow, 10 pm. You can see that one on Sky Sports 2. See whether Dunga's team can rise to the challenge of playing one of the highest spots in the world, in the world of football. And with Argentina collecting three points, it puts the pressure on Brazil again. Especially with Uruguay winning as well, it's all punching up a little bit. Is Veron, you can tell that by the whistles, and again. Dimonai with the. He tries to battle his way through. He ran into the, the back of Sichero. Not the thinking of Sebastian Veron. Here we see Guerrero evades one tackle, lines up against Velasquez, who should do better. Good skills to get away from the tackle there. Slight deflection off for Velasquez, completely wrong foots. Rennie Vega. I'm not sure the, the ball actually diverts that much. Goalkeeper should be doing better. I like the th love the thinking of Sebastian Veron. He knows he's going to get booed every time he touches the ball, so he's playing one-touch football. So just as they start to boo, he's moved the ball on again, and, and the boos can't reach a crescendo. It's good thinking. He's excellent at doing it. One and two touch playing midfield. And here's... The change then made, Aguero off, so Messi will play the full 90 minutes. And a change as well for Venezuela. Francisco Flores comes on to replace Maldonado, who had the hardest job in the stadium tonight. It's Melito who has come on to replace Sergio Aguero. Scored plenty of goals at club level in Spain and then now in Italy with uh, Genoa, Diego Melito. And he scored four internationally. But he's a different kind of player, he's a, he's a more regular number nine focal point or target man, however you want to describe them. He certainly give more presence to the attack than Aguero and Tevez and Messi. Uh, does score a lot of goals, I think a really useful player to the squad. I think Maradon 
it's partly his own personal battle down there. I, he's aware of the crowd are whistling at Veron. Every time Veron touches the ball and does something decent, Maradona's holding his hands up in the air and applauding him. I find particularly in Buenos Aires what Maradona says. We'll hold. De Maria strikes it well, but well wide. To be fair, I think most of the, well, the, the vast majority of the Argentina clubs are based in Buenos Aires, so there's a lot of city rivalry anyway. And you see Maradona with it, I think it was the exaggerated applause to Veron, and he's urging the supporters. They'll do as they're told, you know. <laughs> Moreno goes back towards Chacon and switch the, the direction of this attack now. Venezuela, ball is then deflected into the penalty area. <laughs> it's a 50-50 now and there's a, it's a bit like a pantomime now, is it? As the <laughs> booze drowned out by the cheers. And, also a question of how quickly you can stop whistling, isn't it? Because Gargo got most of that last one, didn't he? <laughs> After, like you say, a, a fairly rapid layoff by Veron. Game's obviously just lost its shape. An emphatic victory for Maradona and his team this evening. Burst the good attacking plan in the second and early in the second half really killed off this game. Some players on the pitch now, Di Maria's come on and Diego Melito will look to try and get a chance or two at goal. First though Venezuela have a chance at goal, it's a free kick. sure how much Maradona might have learned from this occasion because the, the, the setup and the formation that he sent out didn't really work and they've overcome Venezuela relatively comfortably anyway but in, in a way that he sort of got it wrong but they've won anyway. You've always got a chance if you've got good players you're gonna have a good team in fact Maradona's got great players in his team so he's got a great chance of creating a great team especially when you're playing at a of Venezuela at home. And I think tactics are going to play a part in his future career as coach of the national team. The further they progress, the, the tougher matches that they have. He's going to come up against experienced coaches. He might have the tactical nous to, to cause him problems. But as I said earlier, when you look at the goal scorers tonight, of Messi, Tevez, Maxi Rodriguez, Kun Aguero, add to that the likes of Gago and Mascherano, you've got half a chance. The individual ability tonight has been the order of the day. It's won the game for, for Argentina. A comfortable start to Maradona's reign. Competitive matches as coach of Argentina. Jorge Rojas has gone off and uh, Rafael Acosta, 20-year-old, based in Italy, has come on for Venezuela. to give some experience there, younger players and maybe to be given a goal it's a good save now that hasn't been cleared just yet final chance fell to Moreno they haven't been 100% steady at the back Argentina they've just been so rarely tested it's awful defending there took chances Angolari no need to play risky football like that so come to the rescue on this time takes two touches on the ball extraordinary reaction isn't it to their own player Mascarano now for Argentina who are leading 4-0 remember De Maria 
another one of the subs, he's done really well, he looks a real talent, and he pulls it back, and the defender makes a good block, is it really Melito to aim for, here's Messi, you'd forgive Messi for taking a breather, wouldn't you, in the closing minutes of this game, didn't know what to do there, did they, the, the boo boys in the crowd, with Messi and Veron swapping balls, <laughs> It's been masterful from Veron. He's one. Touch, he's so economic with the ball. He doesn't give it away. It's one-touch football. His awareness is different class. He's always been a fantastic player. Just didn't quite work out for him. And Chelsea, Chelsea in particular. I think he's had, he had his admirers at Manchester United from the players and Sir Alex Ferguson really rated him as a top player. Oh, Messi then. Hacked down by Rafael Acosta. It's the first time we've really got close to Lionel Messi this season. It's been a comfortable ride for him. I must say, I'm absolutely astonished he's going to play the full 90 minutes. Here he is again, looking for his second goal of the night. Good interception by young Velasquez. Don't you think that Verón is the type of player Argentina needed? In the first half, it was the attacks were too slow, too laboured. Players were, were taking too long in possession of the ball and taking too long to, ch to choose the right passes. Ron's just come on and he's playing one and two touch stuff. The ball's moving quicker. I know the game's dead now. Venezuela have got no chance getting back into it. And he's won the ball back a hit. Here, Veron has decided to pass. Wonder whether he might go for the, the real crowd silencer and drill one in from 25 yards. You can see why Maradona's got him in the squad. He's got good experience. I'm not saying you'd start him every game. Might find that he'll do better away from home, given the, the reaction that he's had since coming on. Look at the potential of this Argentina team. Potentially, they'll, they've got a chance, you'd have to say, once they qualify, I'm sure they will. Potentially, they've got a chance of actually being World Cup winners with a, the talent in the team. It's a whole new proposition for Maradona as a coach. Undoubtedly one of the greatest players that's ever played the game of football. It's a different pro pro uh, profession, it's a different job, it's a different role entirely. He's a rookie coach. It's going to be fascinating to see how he stands up to the test. Well, they're ranked at sixth in the world in terms of raw talent and ability. They've got bags of that one. And that was another chance to Mariah there. It's looked lively since coming on. Finishing didn't match up to the build-up play. I like the look of him and you can see what Maradona likes, the way he plays football. The good left foot, he likes to take defenders on. Some two or three glimpses of his talent. I think it's been a satisfactory night for Maradona. It hasn't been a, a scintillating performance from Argentina that's blown Venezuela away. Something down to quality and particularly showed in the early stages of the second half. I know his team going to get that stand innovation that he was so, so much wishing for before the game tonight. Free kick for Argentina. Rafael Acosta didn't actually hear as the noise has picked up again around El Monumental. Improved their goal scoring averages and at 13 goals from 10 games and four in Maradona's first competitive match in charge. Top four qualify from South America. Remember, plus one potentially through a playoff against the North or 
Central American nations. They've just started their final qualifying group there, by the way. So you're looking at, I think, Honduras uh, in fourth at the moment. Pretty active tonight, hasn't he? He's been on the bench, he's been on the feet the whole of the game. I can't wait to see him in a real top match against Brazil and see that passion he's shown throughout his playing career. Early September at home against Brazil. In June, they've got Colombia at home and Ecuador away. Needs really to wrap up qualification before September, Brazil and then Paraguay away. Kind of game you really look forward to Brazil Argentina, but the first leg, the first meeting was pretty poor. Now then, can Venezuela finish with a little bit of a flourish here? Good challenge by Angeleri, and then Gutierrez is fouled by Rafael Acosta. I think that Venezuela and says how far he has sent his team out in the second half to try and be attack, more attack minded. But within a minute or so, I mean, two goes down. Goal from Tevez, made by Lionel Messi. Pretty much game over then. It hasn't been a real major test for Maradona in his first game. Sure, there's Sterner test to come. They'll be favourites again when they play. Is it Bolivia midweek? Interesting to see how he acts. His team are put under pressure. What changes he'll make tactically to the team? Whether he'll keep the, the same setup for the, the match on Wednesday evening? Oh, brilliant from Messi! Wonderful play. Melito is there as a target man, twisting and turning, and he hammers it back into the middle. And it was Gargo who had the final shot. Not a natural finisher, Gargo. <laughs> it's all about a run for Messi again, though, isn't it? The best player on the planet at the moment. The most exciting footballer I've seen for a long, long time. Well, in that Maradona dragged Argentina to the 86 World Cup. If Messi is the star of the next tournament, then you could see them winning it, couldn't you? That's a true test of a world-class player, Maradona. Showed us in World Cups, the likes of Cruyff, Platini, Zidane. I think this is the next superstar. Here he is again, accelerating beyond those Venezuela defenders. Oh! It deserved to go the other side of the post. Maradona would have <laughs> been on the roof of the stadium if he'd got in. I think it's the perfect way to finish this match tonight. Misses two runs in the last minute or so. Just defenders just can't stop him. Fantastic footballer. We've seen swapping passes for run. It's one defender, two defenders, three defenders, four defenders, and inches away from rolling it past Rene Vega. It's the power, it's the balance. And of course, it's the skill, the trickery. Absolutely superb. And he hasn't missed a game, and Argentina haven't missed a trick. They have come through their third game under Maradona, play 3 1 3 for him with zero conceded. Most importantly, though, he's won his first competitive test. He sent out three strikers tonight, and Messi, Tevez, and Aguero have all scored. As did Maxi Rodriguez, comfortable for Argentina in the end. Argentina 4, Venezuela 0. How wonderful was that, man?